was just going through some news stories tonight here on my phone and uh, came across this news article here. And it says here, uh, basically the Mount Stephen Club, the side wall, the facade has to be taken down. This is on Drummond Street. And you can see by the picture there, it's being supported by these weird beams. And uh, you know, it says here, a crown jewel of Canadian heritage has suffered a severe structural has suffered severe structural damage during a project to redevelop it as a 12-story hotel. Uh, and they're saying that some cracks have appeared in the, the wall. And you know, I decided, hey, let's check it out for uh, let's go check it out for ourselves. So uh, decided to hop aboard the old 15 bus here. And we're heading right now to Drummond Street. You can see on our map here where Drummond Street is. If I just pull it up. Good old Google Maps, you know, it's uh, so handy. Um, so yeah, we're taking this right now. So Drummond Street is there. Near Montaigne, near Peel Metro. And uh, basically I am, I'm on the 15 right now. And we get off at the Maison F and Dillon Montaigne. So that's what we're gonna go check out right now, folks. This, uh, I guess you can call it a bit of breaking news happening. So we'll get the video when we get there. And good evening everybody. It is about uh, 9.47 p.m. right now. Tuesday, January 26, 2016. We are on Drummond Street here in Montreal. And the reason I am here, uh, directly in front of the YMCA you can see, is because I have just read a story in the Montreal Gazette about the Mount Stevens Club. Now I've never heard about this building. Uh, actually, I should say I have heard about the building, but I've never actually, you know, consciously looked at it. But here it is, and the reason I'm here is because they were doing some kind of renovations on this building. They were converting it into some kind of hotel or other structure. And I guess in the process of doing the renovations, they, uh, they were compromising the wall. You can see they had to end up putting some beams. I know it's hard to see because it's nighttime, but they had to put some beams up there. Um, you know, to uh, to support the walls because uh, it's not a very young building. This this is uh, very old. Um, I'm just going to cross the street here to get a better view. Very carefully cross the street, get a view from the uh, other side of the street here. Uh, and while I do that, I'm just going to look up here about this building a little more. So this building, according to uh, the Montreal Gazette, uh, I just pull up my little app here. According to the Montreal Gazette, this building um, It's the Mount Stevens Club, it's called. Uh, it's a heritage Montreal building, which means that it's historically significant. Um, and I was trying to find this uh, news story here, folks, because I'm having a problem with my internet connection, but uh, while, I, while I dig this out here very carefully from my, uh, from my app, just wanted to, uh, to point out that you can see just by looking at this building how old it is. Um, and I'm just getting my Gazette news story here so I can give you some facts about this building. So it says here, uh, this building is at 1400 Drummond Street. Um, and it's saying that it's a provincial seeing what it says here, I apologize, it's a Provincial Heritage Building and National Historic Site of Canada. Um, and this thing was built between 1880 and 1883 for Lord Mount Stephen, um, President of the Bank of Montreal and founding President of the Canadian Pacific Railway. So uh, there you have it. Um, and you know, this is just a, uh, I guess it's just a, uh, Another historical building in the city, but it's just interesting to see the current state that it's in. Uh, again, you can see those pillars that have been erected there uh, to support the building as we cross over the street. You can see here, and you get a shot from the side, um, you know, what, uh, what exactly is going on now you know look when it comes to old buildings my opinion is just leave them alone let them be you know don't build condos on top of them or you know luxury hotels just leave them the way they are you know historical in nature so you can see here that uh, obviously that building is uh they're probably gonna have to tear that whole wall down 
at some point. That's what the article was saying. Um, and you know, this is one of those examples of, you know, something old school, something historical that should stay in place and should not be replaced by some modern skyscraper, you know. So anyway, that's it right there, folks. So uh, I just wanted to share that with you and have a great evening.